It was well earned, that's for sure, as we get a split of the backs. It was a really well-timed attack to the backs. They had the numbers. And the Queen's backs didn't have any other choice but to take the inside ball. They worked and worked until the Gales were stretched thin, and then they capitalized on it. For gold, just off the post. Thinking about the nice strike. Got the height. I'm not seeing any flags and I'm not hearing a whistle. Score will be 12 10 then. It's under five minutes remaining in the half. Gales out front on a beautiful autumn night down here at Queen's University, Kingston, Ontario, Canada where the OUA Women's Rugby Championship will be decided. It's a beautiful long kick, nice and high. Guelph's got to go back inside the 22 to retrieve. They go with a clearing kick that will find touch just inside the Queen's half. Poor Lady Ryan out. Needs to respond. Gibson does a little fight there in the air. Gets away with it this time. I see Bill Holland having a chat with Carson. And Gibson's not going to get away with it. I would have to say I like the aggression, but that's a second penalty now. Queens have gotten in the air. Out of line out. They might want to be careful with the repeat infringement there. And Guelph is going to go with the scrum. Well, their last scrum was good. Nice reset and held this powerful Queen's pack from any drive. We'll see what happens on this one. Guelph's able to hold off. Eight pickup, but not nice at all whatsoever. And ball is squirted out the back. Guelph playing with a messy ball, and their backs are standing still as those golden jerseys are coming up quick. No release of the ball carrier. Or rolling away. And so Guelph will get the penalty there. And Guelph has asked for a scrum. Interesting call with only two minutes left in the half. Down by two. They've elected to go with the scrum right in the middle of the field. Off of a penalty. Backs are split. Three and three. It's an eight pickup, but it's not clean on the back. And we're going to get a penalty here. Going to Queens now. I do apologize. I didn't understand the signal that he gave. <laughs> Queens are going to have the scrum now. So just inside their half. Under two minutes left in the first half. Queens have elected to go for the scrum. Off the penalty. He's got two behind the eight, lined up in the backs. And we have another whistle on a collapsed scrum. Well, 
Queens had Perry and Carmen lined up directly behind the eight. And I would say they were going to go blindside. The movement of their feet. They might change that option now. If I observe it, I'm sure Guelph did. Ball kept in the back here. Queens are going to come out with a penalty off of that. Even a no bind signal that Carson was making. Gibson's going to have a chat, and we'll have another scrum. So nothing coming out of the scrums here, and both sides trying to, I'm not sure if there's an intimidation factor here or which, but both sides are trying to challenge each other's scrums at this point in time where we could have had probably had a kick to touch, had a line up and be out of the first half. It's only a two-point game here, so neither side's afraid of the other. There's no quarter asked and no quarter being given. We're heading towards halftime of the OUA Women's Rugby Championship here at Queen's University on Nixon Field. Queen's two are at a repeat of last year's final. We'll see if the medals will change from gold to silver or silver to gold. Nice set scrum, good ball there. Really good pack movement there. Queen's have ball at the back. It's been a wheel. We get, Queen's get an advantage again on the pickup, but are going backwards. Never making game line, and we're going to get a penalty here. Nine was offside. Gibson's going to go for a run. Sheeran's with support. Brought down. Maddie May over top. Quick ball from Thompson again. Nice feed back to the backs. Isaac Carmen's going to work her way around two. Looking for open field. Before we get the knock on, followed by knock on. And that'll take us into the half, ladies and gentlemen, as halftime's here for the OUA Women's Rugby Championship. We'll see you at the kickoff, second half. Where, ex where exceptional student athletes are born. The most successful people in life share one thing in common. They all put themselves in a position to thrive. Surrounded by people who challenge them to think bigger. And communities that support them at every turn. In the classroom. And way outside of it. If you want to set yourself up for success. If you want to give yourself the tools to achieve any goal. There's no better place to begin than Queens. We challenge. 
We support. You succeed. You'll be great, no matter where you go. But your greatest story starts right here. Where exceptional student athletes are born. Where records are broken. Where great plays are made. Where school colors ignite passion. Where champions prevail. Where tradition is celebrated. Ontario University Athletics. The most successful people in life share one thing in common. They all put themselves in a position to thrive. Surrounded by people who challenge them to think bigger. And communities that support them at every turn. In the classroom. And way outside of it. If you want to set yourself up for success. If you want to give yourself the tools to achieve any goal. There's no better place to begin than Queens. We challenge. We support. You succeed. You'll be great, no matter where you go. But your greatest story starts right here. Where exceptional student athletes are born, where records are broken, where great plays are made, where school colors ignite passion, where champions prevail, where tradition is celebrated, Ontario University Athletics.
Welcome back to the second half of the OUA Women's Rugby Championship between Queen's University and the Guelph Uni University of Guelph. Of course, 12 to 5 right now, starting the second half. Anyone who's listening to me prior to that, my apologies. A little mathematical error. Nice pick up here by Banks, who's got no one in front of us. She's going to go for a charge here. Got one to drag down. There's no one going to stop her. She goes in for a try to start the second half. Queens Golden Gales come out just fired to get this rolling again. Just a minute into the second half, and Maddie Banks makes an eight pickup here. Big hole to fill. Charging Lady to stop. She gets brought down just out inside the goal, actually never hits the ground prior to that, puts it down. Very, very nice run. Not sure what Dan Valley said, head coach Queens University. Women's rugby at halftime, but he certainly got the ladies fired up. Lizzie Gibson with a convert. Just off the post. Come a little closer than she has in the past that I've seen. Probably about 15 meters from goal line. I don't think it would be 10 meters away from the post. Go left. Opportunity for the all time leading point scorer of women's rugby here at Queen's University to add to her total. Strike looks good from here. Flags are up, and there's our whistle. Queen's are going to pull ahead now, 19 to 5, with 37 and a half minutes. As we come back here for Guelph to set up here, we've been Trying to watch these individuals here. The players to watch will be Carmen Isaac. She's on 11 for the Queen University, playing out in the wing with 50 points on the season. And Kennedy Feesby with 30 points. Or Perry Native, fourth year of Guelph University. He's playing in the seventh, number seven position. Out, open flank. Queens have a nice ball here. Inside their 10. We got an arm out there for advantage as Thompson does a relay out. We got a nice center charge coming out of the backs there. And a beautiful relay to the backs. Quick chip here off of, looks like Thompson took that ball. Could have been Perry. And we're going to get a whistle. Looks like he's saying no roll away. We come back to that tackle that was on the far side of the field. Perry's asked for the ball from Thompson, so we're probably going to kick the touch. Well, it's a good kick. Not going to make touch. Quick catch. And Griffins are going to bring it right back into contact. Good feed ball coming to the backs. Forward pod charge again. Queens are focusing more on tearing that ball than they are taking the tackle. And in doing so, <laughs> fight to get the penalty, but 10 meters inside their own half. Out over top of the crowd here, we can hear them yelling, great catch to Feesby. The player of the, uh, to watch that we just spoke about there was on the receiving end of that catch and made the return. As we have a line out here to restart, a 10 meter mark. Inside Griffin territory, Feesby. And it was uh, just on that replay, you could see how Gibson was in there just trying to poach away. And that's what resulted in the penalty, no release to her. Nice throw there, Eisen. <laughs> Page picks up a nice ball there and taps it down quickly for Banks, who comes around the front. Must make at least 10 meters before being tackled into touch. With Izzy Page on the top of that line out, down to Banks. Banks around the corner. Very nice, as most of the Griffins were coming in field. That four lady line out coming from Guelph. Oh, it's a nice catch and reception this time. Very clean. As there's a good drive on there by the Griffins, but they're going to get driven into touch. Ball still playable there. And not as Carson's blown the whistle. And Queens are going to come out with the ball. 
See a few different faces out there on the Guelph team here from halftime. I'm not sure what substitutes have, substitutions have been made, but I can tell you that the one prop is Bree Marty who's just come in. Queens are set for another scrum. Maddie Banks taking a quick peek there to the backs as they load and set. Nice clean pick. There's Maddie bent over. There's a nice ball out to Thompson. Thompson's going to go straight out to Maddie Donnelly. Walker gets a sloppy ball and is able to clean it up. Nice pick up straight to Page. Quick turn on the ball again as we go again to the backs. And that time, I thought it was like Jackson going for a run. Jackson's not getting up right now, unfortunately. And Queens have gone, Queens are just outside the 22 of Guelph. As Etienne Jackson is going to get tended to right now. Well, it was all pretty coincidental there when I said the players to watch there, and within just a second or two, Beesby's able to make a real nice open field catch off a kick and returns it. Both players, uh, veteran players, very exciting to watch. And as I've seen through the first half, Carmen, I've been calling it her name as she's always a busy bee back there, trying to get in on play with great speed and hands. Definite asset to the Queens Golden Girls. Happy to see Jackson getting up, and she's going to be able to walk off the field on her own. Fortunately, I think that's all the game we're going to see her in this evening. Kali Mosgrove is going to come in to take the place of Jackson here as we get set for the scrum. So she's going to get to work as soon as she gets on the field here. As Guelph has the ball for a scrum restart on their 22. There's some looking back line here by Guelph. Two on the blind side. The rest loaded to open side. Quick ball. Eight pick up. They're going to go blind. Sheeran with a quick tackle on the eight. Good ball back to a pod here by Griffins. Met hard by Anderson. Queens are back around with the ball quickly. Quick to attack. They're going to go for backs. Unfortunate play there. Mishandling here, and Queens are trying hard to regroup. Griffin's there on the wrong side of that ruck. Using their foot a little bit from that example. And we've got a call for post. So our first actual kick at post, I believe, here for the game in the OUA Women's Rugby Championship. And Lizzie Gibson's going to try to kick it, well, will kick it, from the 10-meter mark just inside. Wells portion of the field. We don't have that strong of a crosswind here. I've seen Gibson kick it this far before. In a 19-5 game, it would be a very nice cushion to have. Oh, it's a nice strike. It's still lifting. It's going to have distance, I believe. It drops just short as Griffins are going to run that out. And being held back just inside the 22. Quick ball, and they're going to go for a pod. Marty goes for a quick run here. Takes two to bring her down. Back into a forward pods here. Advantage arm out for Griffins as they get outside their 22 on this pod charge that they're doing. Back to Marty again with another big hit she lays out. And it's, she's got three, four Golden Gales trying to bring her down now. And they do at the 10. Griffins are going to go to the backs again and are brought down behind the game line. Quick kick off the back end. 
Walker's able to take it well in the air. And we have a whistle coming all the way back. We're going back out here for a penalty for Griffin. Thought he saw a dangerous arm come up there. Be on the 15 meter mark here, just at the 22. And the Griffins are going to clear. set here for a line out. And Maddie Banks is going out. A great game here. We got a five lady line out here by the Griffins. They've got their own tap down. Good recover. Mossgrove in on the tackle quickly and Griffins are behind the game line. Bordering on a forward pass there but we're going to come back. As the referee's going to talk to the assistant referee, Bill Holland, here on the corner. Well, the weather is really nice here. It's 17 degrees with just a 12 kilometer crosswind coming off the lake here. The environmental factors are, should not be affecting any of the players here, unlike last week with the constant downpour we had in the semi. It's beautiful weather here. And now. Carson's going to have to have a chat with Taylor Perry. And I see a yellow card come out. And Mossgrove's put up her hand saying, I'm the one. So we've got Mossgrove going to the send bin with 28 minutes left in the game. Queens will be down to 14 against the Griffin 15. There's a little bit of explanations being explained. And if I'm not mistaken, Henry Mossgrove came in for Tatiana Jackson, who is a prop. So Queens are gonna have to do some adjustment on the bench because they must have a trained prop on the field at all times. One of the requirements under the impact players is that there must be enough trained forwards, whether there's a send bin, an injury, or a red card, so that the full engagement of the scrimmage can continue. Nice line out here, Griffin ball. Nice and high, well taken, bobbled on the back end, and Izzy Page is gonna come out with it. Going to take three to bring her down as she charges into the Griffin territory with an advantage arm out from Carson. Thompson back for a good kick as Tom Perry's going to go for the quick kick. It's going to land down inside the 22. Not handled well. Meek is all over it. Queens are down there hard ch challenging for it. Griffin's are coming up with the ball, but there's a ton of yellow jerseys there trying to stop this here. Griffin's reestablished. Set control. And we're going to have a kick here from the back end. Scrum half kick. Mika fields it well. She's going to go in field. It's a big hole there. She's going to try to split it, and she doesn't. That's a heavy, heavy tackle. A lot of challenge here. Donnelly goes for a fake pass, draws in two, but takes the hit. Thompson quick ball. Some heavy defense here by the Griffins now. Three on two is a quick chip off of Gibson here. We got a chase going down in the car corner. And that's Carmen again, player to watch.
Queens are going to come out with a penalty here, and Gibson's going to go for a quick tap while everyone's disorganized. Quick ball out. That's Sheeran with pace. They're not going to bring her down before she puts the ball in goal. So the Queen's Golden Gales here strike with on a little bit of confusion off that penalty. And now are ahead 24 to 5 with 25 minutes remaining in the OUA championship game. Carson's having a little chat there with Griffin Captain. And I believe that penalty, as we look at the replay here, here's this beautiful try here. Just going to stay with it. Sheeran gets rewarded with a try. A lot of hard, hard work off the ball. One of the best flankers here, in my opinion, in the league. As Lizzie Gibson's going to have another crack. Two point. Well, the decision making there, that long kick, and Carmen going for that chase put a ton of pressure on the Griffins in their own backfield. They got isolated on the pickup. Carmen remained on her feet. The ball carrier then did an extra push, which is the push of the ball along the ground. Not allowed to do that once you released it. That's the penalty. Penalty believe, taken quick by Gibson. Queen just used all hands to get out there and put another try, followed by the convert, and it's a 26 to five game. I'd have to say that was some really quick, smart rugby by the Queen's Golden Gills. Almost like the Griffins got caught asleep trying to argue for the point against the referee, the sole judge of law and fact. Quick restart, low ball kick. Makes 22 and Queen's gonna run it out. Good talk by Bree. We're gonna cross from behind, Gibson back over. We're gonna have a charge still coming out there. May got tackled quickly. Queen's gonna try their own work at the pods. Maddie takes a bad ball off of bounce, able to maintain her feet, and keep the ball. Queens have to retreat. Page gets away from one tackler, gets into the second, and it's a good tackle, though. Queens have to retreat as they've gone back. Quick kick. Fielded well by Griffins, and they're going to return. There's that, ta there's that work that Sheeran puts in all the time. Another good tackle. As the Griffins are trying to stay with their forward pods, they're just inside Queens territory at the 10. Charging, there's Kennedy again. Another roll. Gibson again on top. Page and Anderson trying to work there together to get the ball, and they don't, and the Griffins are able to recycle and come back again with their pods. Charging forward again. Good clear out there by that ruck. Nice hands there by the Griffins as they're pressuring deeper and deeper inside the Queen's half. They're well inside the 22 here now. As you can see, the line's at the back of their feet, and Bree Marty's gonna go for a run. Nice recycle ball here by the Griffins until that point in time in which they knock it on. Very, very unfortunate there. Hobson with a knock on. The Queens are going to get the ball back after that really good offensive pressure, I'd have to say, by Guelph. And there's that knock on. <laughs> and in the far left, you see Gibson celebrating. And it's those numbers there, the jerseys and the numbers. There's pressure there without even making contact. And it put the University of Guelph Griffins players a little bit under pressure, and they cough up the ball. Quick adjustment here by Queens as they had to bring on here to be a prop. Emily Buddyworth on eight. And Mika had to leave the field as Queens are still down to 14. Full penalty here to the Griffins for popping up. And they have the ball just inside. Queens 22, about 20 meters there. I'd expect to see a couple quick pods coming off of this. Two, 
Ball is gone with the scrum. Well, Guelph has settled down their scrummaging. They're not getting driven off like they were. And they do have a couple new players in on the scrummaging, as does Queens. Might be a risky play on Guelph not to take that penalty. We'll see what happens. A clean ball. Griffin's on a forward push here. Taking ball at speed. Playtime Warriors coming on in. And there's the ball's already out of the ruck. Queen's backs are up quick, and we're going to get a good run here coming to the side. That's Walker in there on that tackle. Quick ball out again. Gibson's in there on the tackle. Getting cleared out. Some nice rucking here. Queen's come out with the ball. Queen's going to keep it on the foot and do a charge. Nice recycling capability there. Quick ball all the way back. Not the best at clearing kicks, but they're taking the pressure off at the moment. As Guelph has to cycle the ball, gather and go. They're going to go outside wide. They're going to be charging. Keeping the foot. Nice hit right there. Cheering again. The Griffins have to go to that forward pod once more. Just a frenzy down there right now. Griffins are trying to get on that scoreboard again, and they need it at this point in time with under 19, minute, 19 minutes remaining in the game. Mark is a good carry. Quick ball again. The Griffins are putting their forwards into the back line here. And Walker's come out with the ball. Jaden Walker takes a really nice steal off of a stand-up tackle. Steals the ball almost on their five, comes outside the 22, and then Queens get penalty rewarded. Here's going to be that stand up tackle. Just a fight for the ball there. Comes on out, turns and makes a nice presentation. Beat two. Unfortunately, that ball was bobbling before Thompson hits it, but we get it's going to be a penalty here. Fairly uncommon in rugby to see players coming on and off, but at this point in time, they've taken their prop off. They don't need it and bring Mika back on. Senden could just about be over at this time, too. Carson's got to make a quick count of the players. They're going for touch. Queens are going to go for a quick tap. Kick it up the center. Perry has a collision there in midfield. And now Queens are inside Guelph territory. Carry a quick cross kick. Going to find. No, it's going to be gathered there. Lovely by Carmen, who's going to take it on down the side. She's beaten two. She's at the five. She's knocked on the ball. And Griffins will come out with it. The struggle here now. Griffins have their ball. They're going to go deep for a clearing kick. Doesn't make touch. And there's that whistle we were waiting for from the knock-on. Very unlucky. Carmen made some really nice space there. Beats one. Beats two. Comes into three. It's the fourth lady that brings her down. And just there, the ball has squirted out. And it results. The scrum down for the Griffins. Griffins will find themselves again under pressure. Deep inside their own zone. Queen's looking to pounce. Up and away for a clearing kick. Doesn't make touch, and Walker's going to bring it back on the run. Looking to thread the needle. She's finding a couple of holes. She's got the ball out nicely and is picked up. Carmen's got it. Carmen's going to feed on out. Rachel's going to go to the corner, and she's in. 
Queens Golden Gales are just racking up the points here as the Guelph Griffins have got to be scratching their head and wondering how this has got to be such a wide open game. Lots of space and lots of time. A well, well played try. Gibson's gonna have her shot. Put some more points on the board. This time she's gonna be quite an angle between the touch and the five meter mark. See the flags there on Howley's flag. Rick Powers pulls on Nixon Field here. Lizzie Gibson can make an attempt on a hard angle to the convert, which will add to her now all time leading score. was a 10-year-old record she overtook this year. It's a nice strike. It's got the height. It's going to drop in. We have flags. And the convert is good. The Queens Golden Gales are now 33-5 out front of the Guelph Griffins in the OUA Women's Rugby Championship. Under 14 minutes remain. In this game, which has completely turned the tables from the regular season game of only a five point difference. And with the substitutions that have been made, there's more coming on. Three. Three Griffins have come on the field. I believe that's Busby's just came on there up front beside her friend Bree. As we get a kick back going. It's not a deep kick, it's nice and high. Going just inside the 10. Sheeran's got the pick up there. Busby gets to work right away. Had the first tackle there as Perry's getting the ball and we're gonna go out wide. Unfortunate error there. They're really trying to make something out of nothing almost there. The Queens were really working hard those hands and trying to get space. Couldn't quite work out for them. But they're not done. Take the mishandling error. And Guelph will have the ball. Good little ways out. Number 22, maybe 10 meters. As Maddie May is about to exit the field, and so is Thompson. Maddie Thompson and Maddie May are leaving. On come three players. Sheeran's leaving. Excellent game by all three players there. Excellent game by all three. As we get set here on this scrum, on the five meter mark, halfway between the 22 and the 10, Queens territory. Good controlled scrum on this side. This is the first time I've, we've seen Guelph have control on that scrum. Such a powerful movement. And they're able to make some meters upfield. Griffin's gone to the back and it's gonna be a good ball here. They made good. Gonna go for another charge up here. That's Kennedy on the carry. Finally brought down, but Gibson's over top. She's rucked out. Very poor ball being presented there by Griffin's as they come back into contact. Nice work there by the Griffins. They got ball back, nice ruck. And they're gonna spin to the back again. Kennedy again, taken down by Gibson. Marty's gotta take the ball, play scrum half. They're in good support. Ball's gonna go to the backs and it was a really high ball and Perry was able to get in there quick and Guelph are going backwards. That's the 10 meter mark on the Queen's side that they're at. 
as Bree Marty goes for a nice break and is taken almost to the 22. Pass behind the back there. Kennedy is able to clean that up. Nice presentation. Still knocking on the door outside the 22. We're gonna go for another run up here. Stephanie with a good charge. Nice presentation. That's a 22 meter mark right on the back. Quick chip over to the corner and is gonna find touch. Just under 11 minutes here now. You're starting to see Guelph get into a little bit as they're running for the ball. Feeling the pressure of no time left. Here's that pod format they've been using during the penalties. Uh, and it's worked very well for them. I'm surprised sometimes they ask for scrums. Poor ball handling there, unfortunately. Too hard of a throw. Too short of space, and Queens have come out with it. They're under a bit of pressure and gone backwards, but still have the advantage. Good charge forward there by Queens. It's the 22 at their feet, and still an advantage ball. Gives them with a quick move and a no-look pass. Didn't find anybody. As we take the knock on. Griffins have one down in the backfield. They take a minute here. Both sides adjusting what they want to look at here. But time is ticking down. We're under 10 minutes now. Ontario University Athletic Women's Rugby Championship here. Nixon Field in Kingston, Ontario, Canada. Queen's University. And there's the crowd cheering. Not only is the Guelph Griffin player up and off, but there goes Walker and there goes Gibson. And I didn't see the third Queens player that's leaving the pitch for impact players coming on with 10 minutes left. About to have a scrum here for Queens just inside their 22. Set for the last 10 minutes of play here with Queens ahead 33 to 5 over Guelph Griffins. Queens have split their backs. With the midfield scrum. Griffins are given a huge five meter gap here. And as we hear the whistle, what I'm referring to is the backs. Off of a scrum, the defending team must be five meters, as the offensive team must be as well from the hind foot of the number eight. And from this angle, I can see that the back line, the Guelph Griffins are giving a, either don't want to concede any penalty or giving leniency to that five meter. Queen's ball. Good pressure there in that scrum by the Guelph squad. Balls come out and already under pressure. Griffins are charging and challenging for that ball. It's right there at the back of their feet. Should be a golf ball and they come out with it. Under pressure right away. They're gonna try for a forward pod. Busby with a carry, beats one. Busby with a carry, she's breaking loose. And then it is the try for Guelph. Guelph are finally back inside the end goal of Queens. For the first time in the second half, and the impact player they call Busby is the try scorer. As you can hear the 
crowd from Guelph that's come up here cheering for Busby. It was a beautiful pickup. Here we go. Hard, hard person to tackle. I actually know the lady, and uh, she beats three of the queens right there at the final push. If I'm not mistaken, she's a fifth year of Guelph University as well. It's one of her final games in the jersey, I would expect. Out off the center of the post. About 18 meters, meters from. Nice strikes through the uprights, and there's the whistle. Guelph gets to add seven points, bring the, closing the gap down to only 21 point spread. 33 to 12. Queens are out in front with under eight minutes left in the championship game. Well, the Queens have shown dominance in the set play at the scrum, and they've come back before. That time, Guelph had a nice scrum. Got a good turn and pick up. Put some points on the board. Nice kickoffs, deep and high, just to the 22 as Guelph get it and come on out. They're going to go for a quick run, but it met hard on the line by the Gales, and they're still trying to work that far side. Well, it's making another charge up from it. They're going to go with this forward pods that have been working. Lee Marty gets a carry. Two to bring her down. Reset, but it was behind the game line. Gulf's got to get it wide here and get moving. If they're going to get any play, and they get a knock on out of it. Cameron Isaac up good to cover her opposite number. That pressure brings on a knock on. Queens will have the ball just outside the 22. The Guelph territory. In six minutes remaining, I'm gonna take a hazardous guess and say Queens will be heading to the Nationals Championship. Out in Prince Edward Island. In November. As they set for a scrum here. Held pretty nicely there by Guelph this time. And a bit of a turn off the pressure as they're going to go to the back. Terry with a nice ball going back wide. Carmen's going to beat her opposite number to the outside and going to use her speed. Nice cut back inside. It's going to be hard to bring down. She's still getting there. She's at the five now and finally brought to ground. Guelph have piled on hard with this ruck. With a counter ruck, and they're going to come out with it. Kick down the field for a chase. Nobody home by the Queens. It's going to be a bit of a foot chase, and there's the pickup. Strappy ball out there, and Griffins are going to come out with it. There's that pod play again. Griffins have worked on it very hard, but it hasn't been overly successful in putting points on the board. Beautiful tackle gone backwards there. Queens aren't done hitting yet, that's for sure. Golf keeps bringing that pressure, and they're just outside the 22 there. That's the line you see. Almost mishandled there. Very good hands. Brought back again. Oh, it's a good charge here by the Griffins. They're at the 22. Nice broken play here. They're back to game line again. And there's their pods, and we've got a penalty of no release. Queens will get the penalty on their 22. After that hard, hard work there by the Griffins to get up into a challenging position. They don't release the ball. Perry with a quick shot over to the touch. It doesn't make it. Guelph's going to come back with a charge. Well played there by Guelph. There's that forward pods again. They're going to try to keep that ball moving hot in the looks of it. 
Marty gets through, two, takes three, the third to bring down. And we've got a penalty again here. There's the replay there. And we just see the penalty arm there. I believe the original was no release by the ball carrier. Queens have the ball and a kick for touch. Taking a few leaves out on the way. Queens line out. Full line out complement of seven. Guelph's going to adjust the ball. Under three minutes remaining here. Anders has gone up for the ball and back down. A quick ball out. We're going to go to the backs. Perry didn't get the ball very quickly and ended up having to stand up on her own, but was tackled. No clear back on her feet to release, and they're finally going to tap and go here by Guelph. Guelph's going to work that blind side there very well. Stephanie with another charge. Bree coming up through the center here. Kennedy's charge. Kennedy making some nice movement there. Good, good carry. Really pushing that side, far side ball there, going blind side a lot. Griffins are going. Excellent tackling going on here. Both sides, good carries and good hitting. Kennedy's going to charge again. She's at the five. She's going to get brought down inside the five. Black jersey's there in support. Are they going to be able to score again? They're right down against that line again. There's no release. There's the release. Good ball. Oh, I'd give that try to. And Guelph are on the board. I'm a little hesitant there as I see Carson speaking to his mic and Bill Hall in there. And you're going to see she doesn't do anything with it. It gets a hand, and you see, drop right on the line. The line in rugby is in. So although it's just downward pressure, you do not have to have control of the ball. You have to have downward pressure. And Guelph, late in the game, have added another try, bringing them up to 19. The 32. As we're down to 30 seconds on the clock. But the sole judge of law and fact is the referee with the best seat in the house. They just don't get to use it. As Queens are going to have to have this kickoff. And at this time, I think that Guelph would actually be not feeling so good. They played an excellent second half. Unfortunately, brought in those impact players too late. Maybe they should have been starters. And the hill decline in the second half was just too, too steep. These impact players to climb. As they're going to try to keep this ball alive, as they've been doing an excellent job of doing so. And they're going to try to charge to get out of here one more time. Queens are given the ball here on the penalty. No roll away from the signal. Taylor Perry's got the ball in hand. This will probably be the last play as Queens have just indicated they want to kick the post. Not sure if they want to try out the leg of Lauren Bonds just for some confidence building here. There's a little salt being added to the wound. There'll be a message there from Queens coaching staff that the five point spread in the regular season was by chance. And they're putting an exclamation mark on this final. A much bigger win. So their dominance in the league. And this will be the second year in a row they will go home with the gold medal. Pretty short 10 meter there. Guelph was given from the mark. 
It's a nice strike. It's high ball. Look, it has gone wide, and Guelph's going to run it out. Sloppy ball there, but they're able to retain it. They're right along the touch line there. They're between the 5 and the 10. They come back in field on a push. And they're going to go with the charge again. So unlike some sports, we're not going to get a whistle here till the end. The timer is gone, but we don't stop until there's a stoppage of play. And Guelph here has just knocked on the ball, gone to Queens. Queens is going to kick it out, and that should be the game. We have a line out. Carson's made no indication that that's full time yet. And we're going to have a line out. Guelph deep in their own territory, their own line out, which has been good up until this point for the most part. They do have the ball. They did see an adv advantage arm go out there, so Guelph should be coming out with this ball pretty good. Three with carry. Big carry here. She's being, she's using a lot of strength there to get those gold jerseys off her. Busby with a quick ball. They want to get away from that touch line or it won't be their friend. There's the knock, went back, knock on advantage Queens. Play the knock on. Thirty-three to nineteen, Queen Golden Gales leading the Guelph Griffins here in the OUA Women's Championship. As we're into injury time, and Queens will have the scrum outside the twenty-two, just on the five-meter mark. Bones playing scrum half. Good scrummage in there by both sides as the ball's coming loose out the back. Perry with a quick chip into touch as the game is called. Your OUA Women's Rugby Championship gold medal. Queens Golden Gales. Congratulations to the coaching staff of the Queens Golden Gales as they repeat as the gold medal champions. We yeah, have myself, Chris Slack, Fraser, Cody, Ashley, and Kevin. We thank you for joining us here and hope you'll join us tomorrow for playoffs for the Queens University men's rugby and join us for the national championship out in Prince Edward Island in November. Congratulations, Queens Golden Gales, and have a great night. Take care, everyone.
We just recognize the player of the match there on the Guelph side. Just getting awarded that player of the match. And that was number nine, Natalie. Scrum half, Natalie at Armitage. The hooker for the Guelph Griffins. Another all star, I believe that's Emily Clark. Number six, the Guelph Griffins. And Stephanie, you would have heard me mention her out throughout the match. Excellent player in there on many tackles, also being an all-star. Maya Brubacher. Good dress for this evening's game. Excellent player here at Queen's Golden Gales. Brace will explain why she hasn't been playing the last few games. Carmen Isaac. Oh. Carmen Isaac, the leading try scorer of the league, being recognized as an all star. Lizzie Gibson, being recognized as an all star, the Queen's new all time leading women's rugby point scorer. Grace Anderson in the second row. Excellent game out there as well. We acknowledge for all the hard work. Taylor Perry being recognized, second team All Star. Team number 10 here this evening. Some great kicking, excellent work. Rachel coming and getting recognized. And now the Guelph Griffins will receive their silver medal in the OUA championship. We'll be calling out the players as they go through the list. Number four, Stephanie Number five, Number six, 
Guelph Griffins will accept their silver medals and congratulate the Queens, congratulate the Queens Golden Gales as they receive their medals come across and exit the field. Be a long ride home tonight for the Guelph Griffins. Kind of hard to hold your head high with the silver after losing the game. It's actually Busby there just getting her medal. And the remainder of the Guelph Griffins rugby team will follow through and congratulate the Queens Golden Gales for all the hard work. And as you see the numbers that go through here, to have 15 players on the field throughout the season, which is quite a grueling season for all these players, a game a week, five and six practices plus recovery on top of their studies, on top of keeping a great average to be able to play. It's quite a commitment that these players make to be able to play OUA varsity sport. And we want to thank them for the entertainment, time and commitment so that we could sit here and enjoy this great match tonight and enjoy the championship game here at Nixon Field. And now I'm going to turn you back over to the on-field announcer as we get ready to announce the Queens Golden Gales. Thank 
And here's the presentation to the cup to the Queen's Golden Gales. All smiles there for the camera as we're about to watch the Golden Gales erupt into joy here as the women's rugby are crowned the champions. They don't get much bigger smiles than that and they're gonna call in other veteran players and all the rest. The All-Stars, they're gonna get a picture of that with the banner. And we're just moments away from watching this field turn into one huge celebration. As Queens will be heading to the national championship in the in second seed ranking across the nation, new sport. Many people head to Laval University. So this will be very interesting. Queens look great. Here comes the, there it is. There's the championship cheer, folks. Well, there's going to be a party down here at Queen's University tonight with the women's rugby crowned champions of the OUA League as they've got some work to do after the weekend as they're going to be heading to Prince Edward Island to the Nationals with the only team ranked ahead of them is Laval University. Tonight, they looked great, they looked ready, and they were firing on all pistons. Congratulations with a wonderful victory of 33-19 over the Silver Mill Guelph Griffins. Thank you, everyone, for joining us. Enjoy your weekend. And join us tomorrow night for the men's rugby here. Take care. Bye now.